Okay, learning computers or becoming familiar with new technology, well, it can be a daunting task, especially if you're a senior citizen. Well, that's exactly why our next guest wrote the book, Is This Thing On? That's the name of the book, to help the baby boomers navigate through the mystery of computers. Joining me now is the author, Abby Stokes, and she gives us a little Computer 101 training. Welcome to Sonoran Living. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, I guess the first question would be, why did you think that there was a need for this? My guess is you're in the generation where you know computers and I Internet. do, although I'm still a digital immigrant. I think anyone over the age of 40 is a digital immigrant because they weren't born with a computer and a keyboard in their hand, right. which is a digital native. Okay, those but it are was, children, right? That's right. It was really my mom. It was my, I knew she would love the computer, but for her, she can't change her clock radio when the time changes, so I was thinking, can she really do this? And she could because it has to be taught step by step. So and when she I realized, wanted to learn. She wanted to learn. She has a very curious mind, so I thought that Googling things would really appeal to her. I, she's already emailed me twice this morning, so okay. I know exactly what she had for <laughs> breakfast. I know how her day is going. I knew it would suit her, but I wasn't convinced she would learn how to use it. And that was about 17 years ago. Is that so when you started that's this? That's when I started. So when I, got, when I realized I could teach my mom how to do it, I could teach anyone how to do it. Okay. <laughs> well, you're going to actually teach us a little something today. But why do you think it's so important? important for baby boomers to get connected digitally? Well, I think it, it used to be I didn't think you had to, and now I actually think you do. I mean, I think really not having an email account is a detriment because people are trying to reach it's you. It's hard to imagine, right? I know, but, it, but it's still true for a lot of people. Less than 50% of people over the age of 65 have even seen a website. Wow. So we still have a lot of people to get online. Well, and when peop with people scattered all over, the, you know, all over the country and having grandkids. Well, that's exactly why I want to talk about Skype. Okay, let's I, do I that. was in Berlin this summer. My mother lives in Connecticut. She broke her wrist, and I wanted to see her. And on Skype, it's free, it's private, and it's easy to use. So I just want to show people what it is, because okay. if there's one way to get somebody online who's never been online, this is probably the nicest, most satisfying way. This is Skype's website, which okay. is Skype.com. All you would have to do is click on Download Skype. It's very, very straightforward. And what comes on your computer is the software to get onto Skype. You'd have to have an email address. Okay. And I'm about to put in a password right now. So while the password's taking its effect, um, what happened with my mom is when she broke her wrist, I didn't believe she was all right. She was in the hospital. And this doesn't have a webcam, but most right. computers do. I could see her in her hospital room on her computer while I was in my computer on Berlin. For 45 minutes, we talked to each other, video calling for free. 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 So here's how it is. Once okay. you set it up, you find people, other people that are on Skype. For example, this is my sister. Don't you think a lot of it, too, is just trial and error? It's, so many people are so afraid of it. It's, it. it is trial and error. And, and what it is is needing to know the actual steps to get there. Right. So in this case, all I did was I clicked on her name. And if we really wanted to call her, if we had a camera, we would just clip on video call. Okay. And we would be able to connect with her for free as long as we want to talk to each other. So if your grandchild just moved into college, she could use her computer to show you her dorm room. Right. We've Skyped my niece like at, at Passover dinners, and she basically sat there with us yeah. through the whole no, dinner it, it's via exactly Skype. exactly right. It's fantastic. So of all the technologies, if you want to get somebody online who isn't online yet, I would say this is the first place to go because it has real immediate gratification. Well, you just showed us a little bit of, of how to do the Skype thing. Um, in your book, do you sort of take us through everything, through an email it's and everything? Skype and e-readers and Twitter and Facebook, but I just got an email from a woman from New Zealand who was 83 years old, who had no one around her. She bought my book. She went out and bought a computer because there's a chapter about that. She set it up. She got online and she emailed me, which was exactly what I was hoping could happen. Oh, is that so, what you say? Yeah, email that's, me. Email me. No, I have an email address and a website, so people can go directly to me if they want to. If there isn't somebody else for them to email, there you so go. So that's what I wanted to have. Great happen. idea, and you're helping so many of our baby boomers out there. You know, you're you're putting families together, which is fantastic. Which is a great thing. Abby, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, I could probably use your help with a couple of things as well. <laughs> All right, we are going to have more information on sonoranliving.com.